Hey guys, for those who don't know, I am Ash Dykes. I'm an adventurer, extreme athlete, three-time world first record holder, author of Mission Possible, and today I'm filming a short vlog to go into a bit of detail about my training routine. So through my Instagram, I've been getting a lot of a lot of questions regarding how I train, you know, what I train, um, and what the sort of training camp looks like on the lead up to these sort of big demanding world first expeditions that I take on. So I have walked the length of Mongolia solo and unsupported through the Altai Mountains across the Gobi Desert and up through the Mongolian steppe, pulling a trailer weighing 120 kilograms, carrying everything that I needed to survive. In 2016, I then completed another world first, which was walking the entire length of Madagascar from south to north. That was 1,600 miles, taking 155 days to complete, sort of machete in hand, hacking through the um, through the bushes, summiting eight different mountains along the way, hunting, gathering, a very demanding expedition. And then most recently, I became the first person to walk the entire length of the Yangtze River, which was a 4,000 mile journey, taking 352 days to complete. So this was a mighty mission that required a ridiculous amount of training. So today I want to break down the training routine that I do to really get myself into shape ready for these big expeditions, not just physically, but also mentally. So I'm going to take it back to how it all begun. So pretty much, you know, go from school, being highly into my sports and learning different different methods like how to warm up, etc. Uh, you know, come 17, 18, I was doing a lot of boxing. Um, I was doing Muay Thai in Thailand. I was sort of learning from different people, from different clubs that I would go to, taking the best bits of each. I was researching a lot online, studying uh, different muscle groupings and how to train what. I would then use trial and error. I would see what worked, I'd see what didn't work, and I would take out only the best bits. And then when I finished up in Thailand to come back to the UK to prepare myself ready for my first world record which was in Mongolia I actually returned home with probably 200 pounds to my name and moved back into my parents I couldn't even afford no gym membership my uncle dropped me off a tractor tire and the training that I was then doing for my world first was solely in my back garden and in my garage I was pretty much relying on sort of building up my inner core strength and making my body as durable as possible by throwing it into demanding and high intense exercises. So I'd be flipping the tractor tire, I'd be beating, with it, beating it with a sledgehammer. I would be doing a lot of calisthenics, relying solely on body weight exercises from push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups. I would then be adding weight to this so that it was weighted push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups. I'm a big believer on working on all components, so not one specific thing, but a variety of everything. So I was working on my endurance, on my speed, my reaction time, my flexibility, my balance, my agility, coordination, and effectively I was trying to get my body as durable as I possibly could be ready for when I would be lugging the trailer across Mongolia through minus 15 degrees Celsius to then plus 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's get into it. So, for the eight to 10 week roughly training camp before an expedition, which means that's when my fitness and my training is at its best and where it's at its toughest, um, where I'm doing about two hours to three hours a day. Um, so it goes a little something like this. I wake up in the morning, I work on my cardio. I'm straight out either with a weighted rucksack or with ankle weights around me or with the altitude trainer mask um, or none of the above, you know, and I'm out running over the hills uh, for a good five miles that morning, trying to beat my personal best. That'll tackle my endurance. I'll come straight back in from that run and I'll work on legs to punish my legs even more so. I work on back and I will work on abs. That's my morning routine. Maybe I'll do a bit of skipping as a warm down, as a cool down. You know, I'll come in, I will then get all of the calories back in me, you know, get some protein because I still, I don't want to be losing weight. I don't really want to be putting on weight either. I want to stay the same, but I just want to build up 
are my endurance and my all-round durability. And so come the afternoon training session, which is the intense one, it will be straight into the garage and first and foremost, I'll be working on pure core. So when I say that, I mean brute power, brute strength. I'll do, I'll rotate between pull-ups, push-ups and dips. I will do 15 pull-ups. I'll drop down, get straight into the dips, perform 15 dips, get straight up into the push-up position and perform 15 push-ups. That's one set with very little breaks in between all of these and in between each set, I'll be going and rotating round and round for 10 whole sets. That's 10 sets of 15 pull-ups, 15 dips and 15 push-ups. That effectively is my warm-up. Once I've done that, once I've done the warm-up, I'm pretty much burnt out and my body is telling me to rest. Yeah, I haven't begun yet. Uh, and I do this because I know that I have no option when I'm out there on an expedition. I'll go into the gym and I'll mix it up each time. I'll be working on every single muscle, even to grip, to forearm strength. Um, I'll be working on my legs. I'll be working on my traps for the demands of such a heavy rucksack on them. I'll be working on my shoulders. I'll be working on my posture, on my back, uh, on the battle ropes. I'm still plowing on through my um, cardio. I'll be working on my agility. I'll be doing some balancing techniques, working on my flexibility. I will then, after a good 30 minutes of working on all of those muscles, or 45 minutes potentially, I will then go outside and I'll flip the tractor tire. Now I'll do three sets of 20 flips. That's flipping the tractor tire, jumping on top of it, jumping to the other side, jumping down and flipping it again. That's the second rep. I'll do that for 20 reps for three whole sets. I'll then bring out the sledgehammer and on each side I'll perform 20 slams onto the tractor tire, mixing it up and I'll perform three sets of 40, being 20 each side. And then once I've done that, I'll be then working on a little bit of speed. I'll be jumping up and down the tire. Um, I'll, be, I'll be lunging, I'll be going in between my agility laddies as well, working on a bit of speed, reaction time, agility work on what I have set myself. So if my goal is to do a muscle up, I'll then work on the muscle up when I'm exhausted. If it's the one handed pull up, I'll work on the one handed pull up whilst I'm exhausted. I'll push my body all in all. This takes me around two hours to get through. So just in that one day, I've worked on cardio. I've worked on the, the weighted rucksack with the ankle weights, uh, with the attitude trainer mask working on skipping, I'll be working on the battle ropes, I'll be including the tractor tire, the sledgehammer, the pull-ups, the push-ups, the sit-ups. Uh, using the um, multi-gym and free weights, I'll be working and tackling all of the different muscle groupings in my body. So that's the routine broken down. Obviously it's not all of it, but it's, it's just an overview for now. I um, hope you enjoyed it, I hope you can take something from it, hope it's answered many questions that I've received. Do share the video with any of your buddies who are looking to train for an adventure if they've got an upcoming expedition. And if you've got any specific questions that you'd like to ask, fire away in the comments below and I will respond. Um, and also, if you've got any recommendations for another video, if you'd like me to break down any of these exercises in more detail, do let me know. Be sure to subscribe, like, and I will see you in the next video.